Ladies and gentlemen, this is one of our modern cheap daily electronic smart gadgets. This is an alarm clock, Bluetooth speaker and the radio together. The good thing about it, it is visible at night, thanks to its brightening white display. But that's all. Turn it off. Power off. To start it. Okay, so we turn it on. Bluetooth mode. And the first option is the Bluetooth, and you could hear the quality. Power off. Bluetooth mode. You can hear that the sound is very unpleasant. No bass, it's okay because it's a small stuff. But nowadays there are good uh, small speakers, cheap speakers with a uh, great bass. But this doesn't have any treble, you know, any high frequency. And uh, the volume is not strong enough, so it, it just cannot replace your smartphone's integrated speaker. So the second option is the clock mode. Well, the display alters among the battery status, the temperature and the clock, as you can see. Look at this. And you cannot turn it off. There's no option to change this feature. So you need to pay attention to catch the moment when it, it displays the time. Especially inconvenient at night, but you can learn how to live with it. Very interactive, yeah? But the huge downside of this clock is the poor battery time and its incorrect display. After two days, without abusing its Bluetooth and radio modes, the display shows circa 50%, then it instantly turns off. Funny, right? So now we have, uh, we have 64% to... That's my son. Okay, so finally, there is the so-called radio mode. Yes. Look at this. We are turning to the radio. FM mode. Wow, and it comes with this terrible loud volume. So this is the biggest joke. I have to turn it off because I can't really try Clock to go back. Mode. Clock mode, okay. So this is the biggest joke shared in all cheap household Bluetooth gadgets. Like this one, this is also the same. Actually, the sound of this one is better and this is a stereo, it has some kind of bass, but the handling is just terrible and all of these cheap gadgets share the same silly, stupid uh, handling of the buttons and the functions. There are BT speakers without the display, like this one, and it's even worse how to handle it, how to manage your channels or whatever. So this is the biggest joke shared in all cheap household Bluetooth gadgets. When you search for the radio channels, uh, the radio stations, it goes and automatically finds all traditional broadcasting stations around you. In my case, it is 72 different stations, at least 72 different signals. Can be some others among them, I don't know, we are in Vietnam. So you have to push the proper button quite a lot to reach your channel. So after this small gadget, found your all, your all the channels, all the broadcasted channels, you have to go and, uh, for example, now, let's go to Lotus, and now, let's go to the radio, FM, FM. and uh, here you have from P, P1 to, uh, actually it goes to P60, but, Power off. But it doesn't work now, I don't know why. I think it forgot all the stations. The most annoying feature of all of these cheapo gadgets is that it cannot remember the volume that you have set up earlier. So anytime you turn on this thing, it kicks your brain with its loud and harsh hands fighting sound. If somebody is sleeping around you, it's even funnier. Look at this. So let's check, go to the radio. Enter to Bluetooth. Enter radio in plain. Okay. I turn off the volume. I make it quiet and quieter. And I turn it off. And let's say I want to turn on the radio, but someone is sleeping around you, or you just really want to be quiet. Enter to Bluetooth. And it's also terrible that this 
signal that warns you that you turn on the Bluetooth or whatever is also loud and you cannot change anything on the volume. Now I go to the radio. Enter radio in plane. And it fits your brain with this terrible volume. And it cannot remember the quiet setup that you have already done before. And this is the same. And all of these consuming electronics, cheap dish, are the same. These things are much worse than 20, 30 years ago in our old analog times. These things just don't meet the basic human demands. Bluetooth mode. Affin mode. Okay, so I want to set up a, a very gentle volume and I turn it off. Power off. And I go back to the radio. Okay, turn it back. Bluetooth mode. Apple mode. Go to the radio. And it's harsh and loud and it's terrible. It's a headache. Bye-bye.